Good morning, this is a short screencast explaining how to manage those difficult short form URLs. Here I've got a fairly basic store. If I go through to one of my collections here, you can see I've already installed a uh, category breadcrumb and I've already installed the category icons. Um, the, uh, the, the collection I'm in there doesn't have any products, but here is a collection that does. And if you if I click through to these products, you'll notice that my theme by default is creating links that are the short form style. So it's the name of the shop and then products and the product name. Now the problem with this is that when I come to a page that is made up only of products and the product name, there's no way for um, a breadcrumb to know where this product sits, what collection it's in. And as a result, the breadcrumb says home, all products, and then the product name. Now this is something we can change. The best way of changing it is to really update the theme. All themes really ought to link through to the long form um, URL, which allows us to see uh, exactly what collection of products in. However, I appreciate that sometimes themes aren't built this way and um, depending on what you have, like you have engaging with a the theme owner, what I've tried to do as part of the category breadcrumb setup is introduce a hack. So here, if I go into categories uncomplicated, although this feature is in breadcrumbs uncomplicated too, um, sorry, category breadcrumbs, and I um, load up my store. This is what a new one, so I'm just gonna hide that. If I refresh the category list, it's going to bring through the very latest version of the code, which has this new feature in. And then I'm also gonna open my, if I give this a second, what's gonna happen is that this category list refreshes, there it is. Um, I'm gonna open my theme up in the Shopify theme editor, because I'm using a version 2.0 theme. Uh, I'm going to select the collection page, the default collection page. Oops, oh, there we go. Collection, default collection. Um, and on here, I'm going to select category breadcrumbs. So the category breadcrumbs here, by default, are creating product links that. Um, that are just the way the theme creates them. And one of the things we're doing here is we're fixing a broken theme. This is not something created by my app. It's just something that happens in stores sometimes. And what I'm trying to do is correct it. Um, I'm actually on a page here at the moment that doesn't have any products. So what I'm going to do is in the, um, the Shopify theme editor here, I'm going to pick a different collection. I know, for example, that the laptops collection has some products in it. So I've selected laptops now and here are some products. And if I hover over these product links, you can see down at the bottom, they are short form URLs. And that's because Dawn by default creates these short form URLs. If I go to category breadcrumbs though, and I scroll down to the product uh, templates only section um, and click fix short form URLs for linked from, for products linked from collection pages, what this will do is it will update the page such that instead of linking to just slash product slash product name, it's now linking to collections and then the collection name and then products and then the product name. This is the long form URL. Now these two, these URLs are a Shopify thing. They are created by Shopify, they're managed by Shopify, but my app has this um, ability to change from short form URLs to long form URLs if you've got a problem with your theme. And I had a problem with mine, and so that's why I've done this. I'm all done now in here, so I'm going to exit the um, uh, exit the theme editor. I'm going to back go back to the front end, and uh, I'm going to show that uh, where before my front end produced pages that looked like this. If I now refresh this, you'll notice I'll just hide this preview bar. Um, oh, sorry, wrong button. Um, I will. Uh, yeah, refresh this page and hide the bar and bar's gone, good. Um, now, when I hover over these icons, they're actually linking through to the long form URL. So if I click on one of these products, you'll notice that I go through to a product page which has a fantastic breadcrumb and that is because the URL here features the collection name. So it's this long form URL that gives us the breadcrumb here. My app beho behaves in both ways. It can cope with pages that don't have this. So if I manually hack this and I remove the, um, the mention of the collection in the name, it still produces a breadcrumb. It's not the breadcrumb I'd like because it's only a generic breadcrumb that links to all products, but it is a workable breadcrumb. On the other hand, if I'm um, 
in a collection, let's take and have a look at, say, um, computers and desktops. Now I'm in a, um, a collection that I've enabled that uh, that hack within the app and so it's rewritten these product URLs which means that if I click on one of these computers what I see is a lovely breadcrumb which has all of the information in it. I've demonstrated this with a, uh, a 2.0 theme because these are the ones that are default in Shopify at the moment. This does also work for 1.0 themes if you would like more information about um, how to do that then please take a look in the help. If you go to the help page in the app, you'll find this page. And in here, there is loads of information about how to set up the app. But the most relevant section for what we're talking about is for a 1.0 theme, you can adjust your embed so that it has this insert short link fix true flag on it. And if that flag is set, then um, this URL, re URL rewriting happens for 1.0 themes as well. Generally, I would recommend sticking with 2.0 themes. They are the future. They seem to be the, the one that Shopify is pushing at the moment. And, uh, and as such, that gives you the best mechanism for managing these things on an ongoing basis. I hope that's useful. Um, best of luck with your store. And if you have any questions, please click Get Support in the app.